Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Thursday, April the 13th for the 399er game. We have two hands for you today. The first one is number eight. I'm the dealer, and as you can see, I have 18 high card points with 4522 distribution. Uh, pretty straightforward one heart opening. Partners bid two hearts, which shows a good five to a bad 10 high card points. Uh, am I going to gain? Absolutely. Uh, however, rather than just jumping to four hearts, I'm going to bid two spades uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, we might find a 4-4 spade fit, and for a 4-4 spade fit generally plays better than a 5-3 heart fit. Uh, and the second reason, although this is very unlikely, is slam is theoretically possible if partner had just the right hand. Uh, and I can keep that in the list of possible contracts if I just bid two spades. Now, this is forcing. It shows three or four spades with something in the suit and asks my partner if they have a maximum or a minimum. And if they do have a maximum, do they have something in spades or perhaps something somewhere else? Partners bid three hearts. That says they have a minimum. So they have five to seven high card points. They may or may not have spades at this point, but basically they're unwilling to force to four hearts. So my hand is so strong I was going to game anyway, so I'm not going to stop. Queen of Spades lead. Uh, if we look at the losers in the hand, it looks like I have potentially two club losers, no diamonds. Uh, I have the four and five of spades in my hand that I'm going to have to do something with. And I have two heart losers. So I certainly have my work cut out for me. So I think the most straightforward approach here is just to rough four and five of spades with the hearts that are in there. So I'm going to cash the ace and then I'm going to cash the king of spades. And I'm going to rough that. Now, I'm going to rough with a 10 here in case uh, south is out of spades. Uh, is isn't clear at this point. Now, I need to get back to my hand in order to rough another spade. I'm not going to play hearts because if I decided to duck one around and north won the trick on my left, they would continue hearts and I wouldn't be able to rough the, the uh, remaining spade. So it's a diamond to my hand. And now I'm going to rough a spade. Oh, and he... Uh, roughed high. That's fine. Uh, good to know the queen is there. I can pitch whatever I like here. I think I'm going to pitch a club. Now, interesting that the robot should return a diamond. Um, this, looking at the dummy, which is at the top of the screen, if I were a defender, it would seem more obvious to play on clubs. The diamond could be a bad play because the south robot, might, it's a free finesse, in other words. So, that I, I may, it, it may give me the idea that perhaps the north robot on my left has the ace of clubs. It's a small consideration. Now, up popped the queen. Uh, so now my king is good. And now I have to decide how to play the rest of the hand. At this point, we're down just to clubs and hearts. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and get the trump out as fast as I can. So I'm going to catch the ace of hearts here. Ooh, I was kind of lucky. So the king and queen were doubleton on my left. And now the Jack of Hearts is a winner. There is still one more trump in the South Robot's hand on my right. However, all the diamonds are good. So I'm going to play that. He's going to rough. I'm going to over rough. And once again, we're back to the clubs. Now, at this point, I could lose two club tricks and I would still make the contract. But I'm kind of greedy like everybody else. And as I mentioned earlier, when the robot on my left did not lead a club and instead chose a rather dangerous diamond lead. Uh, that is a small indication to me, and you take whatever you can, that perhaps the robot on my left has the ace of clubs. So let's see what happens. And there you go, he popped ace. Now he may have popped ace because he knows that the 10 of diamonds is good, and I could potentially have taken, or lost rather, no club tricks. So I've actually managed to take 11 tricks here. All right. So uh, interesting hand. Um, and it's worth mentioning again that when I bid two spades in the auction, my partner, from their perspective, it looks like a game try. It doesn't look like a slam try. However, when I go to game anyway, after they have signed off, the defenders should be thinking that I have extra values because I was prepared to go to game regardless of what my partner did. All right. We're going to pause while we change directions for the next hand. All right. We're back this time with hand number 10. 
So I have 17 high card points, balanced hand, one no trump open. Statement from partner, show my hearts. And it looks like we have arrived in four hearts. Okay, so looks like we have all the hearts down to the 10, that's good. Uh, one potential loser in spades, the king, uh, and a diamond loser and a club loser. So it looks like this contract is pretty secure. Uh, so now we need to decide if there isn't perhaps a way to make an over trick. So the first, my plan, if you will, is to draw the trump. If there are three, two, that's great. Finesse and spades, which will set up a discard uh, in the club suit. And then that will give me my extra trick. So <clears throat> let's see how this goes. I'm going to cash the king. And when you have multiple honors on one side that are all the same strength, as in this case, King, Queen, Jack, I'm playing them from that side. Uh, also, I might potentially want to end up in the dummy so I can leave the Jack of Spades towards the Queen or even small towards the Queen. Okay, so the South Row one on my left is shown out in hearts. When this happens, Obviously, you recognize that the hearts are split 4-1 for the opponents, and there's two more sitting on my right. So you need to pause and adjust your plan. So if I draw all the trump, I have a problem, because they're, they're going to, depending on where the king of spades is, they could drive out my ace of diamonds and make life miserable for me. So rather than draw all the trump, I'm actually going to work on some other ways to get a shoe tricks. And I think the most obvious one is to rough a diamond. So at this point, I'm actually going to play uh, the jack of diamonds and let it ride to the south, south robot on my left. Now I could play a spade instead, uh, but I have a seven card spade fit and um, there is, well, let's just say there's more chance that an opponent is short in spades than there is in diamonds. So the diamonds are inherently safer. And I'm ducking that because at the next round, I'm going to play the ace and rough a diamond. Back comes a club. So I need to decide where do I need the entry, in the dummy or in my hand. Now, I think my hand has lots of entries, so I need to maintain that ace of clubs in the dummy so that I can get back to those spades if it comes down to it. So small here. Okay. Now I'm going to play the ace of diamonds, and I'm going to rough a diamond. Now I'm going to rough high with the jack because why not? There you go. Now, all the hearts are winners now, uh, but I, if I finesse in spades and it loses, then the south robot will switch to diamonds and I'll actually be short of trump. So I, believe it or not, I can't draw the rest of the trump at this point. I need to finesse in spades. So I'm going to play a small one to the queen. And there's the king. Now, if South was to continue diamonds, as in this case, that's fine. Uh, because I still have a trump in the dummy. If I did not have a trump in the dummy, then I would have been forced to rough with my king, which would have promoted a trump trick for the robot on my right. Well, just pitch so it isn't club. And now a spade to the ace. Drawing the last trump from the north robot on my right. Right here. And these are good. All right. So I managed to make uh, 11 tricks here. Uh, but uh, the important part of this one is recognizing that 10 tricks are generally going to be there. But it's match points, pairs. You want the extra over trick. And while there are various ways to get that over trick, when the 4-1 heart split shows up, you need to pause and adjust your plan slightly. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.